I'm Maggie K. So I wanted to make a little video kind of related to my last video I did about traveling Japan, but this one is specifically for those on the JET program because I was asked about that while on the JET program. Um, I guess apparently I traveled a lot and people were wondering how I did that while working a full-time job. I didn't think I actually traveled that much. I think it seems like I travel more often online than I do in real life, but I figured I'd make this video anyways, kind of giving some tips and advice for JEPs to maximize their travel experience while on the JET program. So my first like tip and advice for traveling while on the JET program specifically traveling within Japan, is to look beyond the rail system. Now, I kind of mentioned this in my general travel video, but the rail system in Japan is talked a lot about and a lot of people want to travel on the train system, but um, as people who live in Japan, we're not entitled to the like JR rail pass, so it doesn't actually like matter whether you travel by train or not. Um, so look beyond the rail system. There's lots of different ways to travel around Japan and a lot of the time they would be more useful and more practical for people living in Japan than the trains. So the first one to look into is bus travel. Now I never really did this in Japan because there wasn't any buses where I was living, um, but I do have friends who have taken buses specifically night buses and I've been able to easily get around the country and I've heard good things and apparently they're pretty nice and comfortable and cheap so that is a good option for you. So while I couldn't use any buses because they didn't exist where I live, what did exist was ferries and I took the overnight ferry a few times. It was pretty cheap and really nice. I did a whole video about taking the overnight ferry in Japan, so I will link that down below. There's other routes than the one I took, um, but yeah, taking the ferry to get around is a good option. So the last form of transportation I would recommend considering is flights, domestic flights to get around within Japan. Basically every prefecture would have an airport I don't think I ever heard of a prefecture that didn't have an airport and like I lived in a smaller prefecture and the only places we would fly are Nagoya, Osaka, and Tokyo but um, within that that will get you other places and again those major airports will probably connect to smaller um, prefectures if you want to go somewhere. So like I was living in Kyushu and while I never actually did this I was looking at going to like northern Japan, not Hokkaido, but like northern Honshu, and um, yeah, they, I would have to fly there but have a layover in Tokyo kind of thing. Um, so that would be the easiest way if I ever actually did that, which I didn't. And the like cheap airlines uh, to fly would be Peach and Jetstar, depending on where you are. Like my prefecture didn't have Peach. I flew Jetstar once, um, but most of the time I actually took ANA, which was a really nice airline to get around Japan. And honestly, not that much more expensive than Peach or Jetstar because you got to really look when you do budget airlines, they um, like to have a lot of hidden fees. So at the end of the day, it was almost cheaper to take ANA. So yeah, look at the different airlines for domestic flights, buses, ferries. Um, there's a lot of options that are typically cheaper than the train and um, something to consider depending on where you're going. So my next tip for jets is to maximize your Nenkyu. You only have a certain number of days off in a year, so make sure you use them wisely. For me, I would always book around public holidays. I've done it where if there's a public holiday in the middle of the week, I would like line it up to the weekend and I would get like a good five days off with two days of Nenkyu kind of thing. So make sure you just kind of look at the schedule and where public holidays are and that's when you should use your Nenkyu is around those days. Don't just like use them on random days when you don't want to be sitting at your desk during like desk warming or you know the spring break or summer vacation when you're forced to kind of work but you don't really have much work to do. Sit through it. 
you just have to to work through those really boring days do not waste your nine q on those days maximize them take advantage of the long holidays and the weekends and really stretch out that nenkyu where you can travel more places for longer time without using a lot of the nenkyu. So my last little bit of advice for Jets is to not limit yourself. I noticed that like a lot of people on the program from like message boards and whatever, they're very much focused on traveling Japan and traveling East Asia, which I mean makes sense, but if you don't want to, don't. <laughs> like, a lot of people would say like, oh, you really should go to like Thailand, which I mean, you should go to Thailand. I love Thailand. It is one of my favorite countries to visit. But like, if you don't want to go to Southeast Asia, don't. If you don't want to go to Korea, don't. <laughs> if you want to go to Europe, go. Like, don't limit yourself to like Asia. I had a friend go to Europe. I had a friend go to Australia because that's where they wanted to go. And that's the way you should look at it. Like, just because you're living in Japan doesn't mean you should be restricted to just traveling around Asia or just like using your time to go visit home. Like, go and do whatever you want to do. Like, I took some trips that a lot of people wouldn't consider because that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to go to Mongolia. I wanted to go to Uzbekistan. Like, those were the places I wanted to go to. It's a big world out there and you should go see wherever you want to see, you know? Um, and I feel like a lot of people forget that. They get really caught up in this idea of living abroad. So you need to do all the things in this very small area when you really don't. Just because you're living abroad and just because you're on the JET program, it doesn't mean that this isn't real life, that this is just kind of some break. Like you're working, you're making money and you can take your vacation wherever you want. And don't let anyone judge you for doing, you know, whatever you want to do. So yeah. I just say like don't limit yourself don't have this like very closed idea of where you should go because you can go wherever you want have fun with it go travel my friends be free <laughs> so yeah that is it for this video just a couple of tips and some advice if you are on the jet program and wanting to travel how to do it how to take advantage of you know your situation doing what you want to do um so yeah that's it for this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up and subscribe because I'll be back with another one soon. Bye.